Today's video is brought to you by App Even, the service that allows you to download pretty much any application from the App Store without having to create an Apple ID. Completely safe, completely free. No jailbreak is going to be required. Links will be in the description down below. If you would like to download it, it will bring you here. Click the download button and then click the install button. Once you click install, the application will install on your springboard. Now, before you launch it, you have to go to settings here. And you want to go to general, scroll down to where it says device management, click on the certificate and then click the blue letters to trust and then you'll be able to run the application on your device one of my favorite sections is the unlimited section this section allows you to download games that are pre-hacked with unlocked levels unlocked characters unlimited coins so once you launch a game you'll get all these great perks so if you take a look here for example i'm playing hungry shark i can play you see all the coins on the top left here or the top right it's really really cool look unlimited coins unlimited diamonds and i can go have fun and enjoy the game it's absolutely free and completely safe so if you guys want to go ahead and check it out this is a lot of fun go ahead and check it out links in the description so anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you to app even for sponsoring this video hey guys apple has officially released ios 11.4 beta 4 to register developers and if you follow me here on the channel yesterday i talked about this on my follow-up video for ios 11.4 beta 3 where i share some new features in regards to siri and airplay 2 so if you want to check that out links will be in the description but in that video I also talked about how apple will be shifting back to releasing betas on a one week cycle for 11.4 once the software was almost ready to be released to the public now this week apple has officially confirmed that so yesterday on the 6th i talked about how they will be shifting to a one week cycle on the 7th or the 8th and they did release today ios 11.4 beta 4 on the 7th so it is confirmed apple is getting closer to the official release of 11.4 which puts it right near wwdc here so if we get another beta maybe beta 5 sometime later this week in beta 6 then apple will probably take one week in between and then we'll see an official launch somewhere between the beginning of june end of may okay so right around there now the software came in at 256 or 55 megabytes that's going to depend of course on your device the iphone that you're using and the software that you're updating from i'm using of course iphone 10 let me go ahead and share the build number with you guys it's going to be 15 f 5071 a now we still have that very long build number we still have the feedback application on springboard the software is gradually getting to the point where it's stabilizing enough that i think apple should be having a release of this software pretty soon now we can anticipate as i mentioned maybe five maybe six betas for this software and i wanted to go ahead and run a quick geekbench a test here to see how the phones are performing in terms of cpu performance so let's go ahead and wait for this test to see what the results are okay so here are the results beta 3 on the right beta 4 on the left single core score 42 47 42 46 nothing different there multi-core score we dropped about 140 points from 10,200 and 10,343 so beta 3 that's uh, slightly above in terms of performance but not a whole lot so there is some performance uh, differences here with the latest beta but the software you won't be able to notice it now good things about this new software is that we still have the messages in iCloud available that feature was removed and it was first supposed to be uh, making its debut with 11.3 but never did apple removed it and it's still here in beta 4 so that's a good sign we also still have the airplay 2 options available for the software as well so hopefully by the time this ships out to the general public messages in the cloud airplay 2 and some additional features that i talked about on previous coverage will remain uh, so there you guys have it that's everything i have for you guys if i find additional features i'll be sure to let you guys know with a follow-up video as i did before and of course i'll be testing the battery and the performance thoroughly on all devices in order to give you guys a follow-up video so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace